Good morning, newest Timberwolves, and welcome to Jackson High School. I'm one of your assistant principals, Mr. Hines. And I'm your principal, Mr. Bell. And today you're going to learn a little bit about your school, the registration process, and some frequently asked questions. Go Timberwolves! Hi, future Timberwolves. This is Mr. Garrick. As a counseling team, we are here to help as you register for classes at Jackson High School. Take a look at this slide to familiarize yourself with the counseling team divided by alphabet and support staff at Jackson. You can also reach out to your current counselors at your middle schools with any questions you might have. Their information can be found on the Heatherwood and Gateway websites. Feel free to pause the presentation at any time if you need to write information down or reference something in the future. The Jackson Counseling webpage also has lots of useful information, so give it a look. As we walk you through course registration, it will be helpful to have access to the following items, your course catalog and the pre-registration form, both of which can be accessed digitally by going to the Jackson Counseling webpage and selecting 2021-2022 course registration. In this presentation, we are going to cover all that we typically do during your pre-registration lesson. This includes reviewing graduation requirements, learning how to read your course catalog, highlighting course and program offerings, answering frequently asked questions, and providing guidance on requesting your classes for next school year. Eighth grade family night is tentatively scheduled for the following date. Let's begin the registration process. Your graduation requirements and checklist can be found on the following pages in your course catalog. Here is an overview of each graduation requirement. The course catalog provides the essential info about every Jackson High School class and program. Here's how to read a class description. Number one is the name of the class or course title. In this example, walking. Second is the course code. You can list this on your pre-registration form and use this to search for your courses online. In this example, PED 201 slash PED 202. Third is the location of the class. Pay attention as some classes are listed for other high schools, which Jackson students are generally not allowed to take. You will want to find classes that are listed for JHS. Fourth is the grade level of the course. Again, pay attention as some classes are only offered for certain grade levels. Next is credits that the class offers. Some classes fulfill multiple credit requirements and will be listed here. Next is length of the course, which is either one semester or year long, which equals two semesters. Prerequisites are courses you will need to complete before you can request the course. For example, walking requires completion of PE1 before you can request it. Other contains additional information you might need to know, including equipment and clothing needs, whether the class is repeatable for credit, and additional credit offerings. Some courses include a fee, which is listed here. Finally, a brief description of the course is included. Give it a read so you know what to expect when you take this class. Now that you know how to read a course listing in your course catalog, take a look at the index on the following page to see a full list of courses offered by the Everett School District. The index includes credit information about the course and page numbers where you can find more detailed information about the specific course. 
It's important to remember that course selection really does matter. A more rigorous high school curriculum will better prepare you for success in college, whether two or four year, especially in trade schools, for the workforce, and for the military. Regardless of what you're doing after high school, the more rigorous the courses you are taking, the better prepared you'll be for success. Jackson offers many ways to prepare you for the challenges of education beyond high school. Familiarize yourself with these options by looking at the following pages in your course book. As a reminder, AP courses are year-long and some include suggested summer assignments. Once in an AP class, you will not be moved out, so choose wisely. Here are the AP courses that are typically open to 9th grade students. As you look to the future, there are a few programs to be aware of. NJRRTC, Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, provides an opportunity to take a course in Naval Science and Leadership at Everett High School. Find more information in your course catalog and reach out to your school counselor if interested. Running Start and Snow Isle programs are open to current junior and seniors. Many students will complete their World Language, PE, and or Fine Art credits their 9th and 10th grade years so that they have room in their schedule for these programs when eligible. More information can be found in the course catalog or by checking the Community College and Snow Owl websites. Have you watched our curriculum videos yet? The Digital Course Fair is available on the Jackson Counseling webpage under the Registration and Incoming Ninth Grader tabs. Let's clear up some common areas of confusion. What are electives? Electives are anything you do beyond the minimum. This means your fourth year of math or science, a fourth PE class, a third CTE course, a third year of world language will all count as electives and help you meet this requirement. If you're planning on going directly to a four-year college after high school, you need a minimum of two years of the same language. A world language assessment is also offered in the fall and spring in which you can earn up to four credits of a world language based on the language you already know. See the district webpage for more information on taking this exam. PPR, what is it anyway? It stands for Personal Pathway Requirement. However, there is no class titled PPR and no class that gives PPR credit. When you complete your yearly High School and Beyond survey and Naviance, you'll let us know if you plan to use certain classes as PPR. Currently, this includes up to one credit of Fine Arts and or two credits of World Language. Do I have to take PE1 in Family Health as a ninth grader? PE1 and Family Health are freshman courses and should be taken in the ninth grade year. PE1 is required to be completed before taking any other PE course. Health is a graduation requirement. Some students have elected to take these courses over the summer or online to free up space to take something else. Can I take a class over the summer to get ahead? Many students will choose to take a semester-long class over the summer such as health or PE. Students interested in taking a year-long course, such as Geometry, should know this is not often recommended given the short time frame in which these classes are offered. More information on signing up for summer classes, including course listings and fees, can be found on the Everett School District website. Can I take an online course? Freshmen are generally limited to one online course each semester. If part of your six-period day, this course will be at no extra charge. To take a course online, Please complete the online approval form with parent or guardian signature found on the Jackson Counseling webpage. If you took a high school class in middle school, these courses, along with the grade and credit, will automatically be added to your transcript when you start high school. You can remove them by semester by completing paperwork with your parent or guardian signature. All changes are final and can only be done once. Contact the JHS Registrar or your school counselor if you're interested in starting this process. Information on PE Competency Credit, formerly known as PE Waivers, can be found on the Jackson website. Students are able to earn up to one credit of PE through this process. If you have questions, the JHS PE Competency Credit staff member is also listed on the webpage. What is high school like? All ninth grade students are invited to attend a freshman orientation conducted by Link Crew the day before school starts. Students will receive their schedules, get a tour of the school, connect with current Jackson students, and get to meet their classmates for the first time. Parents and guardians are invited to attend a separate orientation on the same day. Take a look at the bell schedule for Jackson High School, including lunches.
For additional information and answers to frequently asked questions, please see the Jackson Counseling website with a separate page dedicated to incoming ninth grade students and families. The following slides are examples of typical schedules for ninth grade students. You now have everything you need to request your classes for next year. Congrats, T-Wolf! The Jackson Counseling Registration webpage and your course catalog have lots of useful information to help you along the way. You can use the pre-registration worksheets to guide your course selections. With your middle school counselor's help, you will be requesting your courses using Naviance Course Planner. Don't worry, your upcoming transition meeting with Jackson High School staff will also help you finalize your requests. Let's take a look at the pre-registration worksheet in a little more detail. You can find a digital copy of this form on the Jackson Counseling Registration webpage. The front of the form outlines classes all 9th grade students need to take, with additional spots for classes you can choose. On the back of this form, it lists the classes that are open to 9th grade students. Remember, PR stands for prerequisite, R stands for repeatable for credit, meaning you can take this class more than once, and YR stands for a course that is year-long. One final reminder, please select a full six courses for each semester and list as many alternates as possible. Most students will not receive all the courses they request, so having a backup plan is important. More alternates means less crying later. Let's review all the information you learned today in order to request your classes for next year. That's it! If you have questions, first look for answers in your course catalog and on the Jackson webpage where we will also include additional answers to frequently asked questions. As always, your middle school and Jackson counselors are here for you too. Please email us at any time with questions you have. Go Timberwolves!